Oh my gosh, man down. Okay, that is the first thing that comes to my mind when I saw that fall. Like, he is down. He's so far down that he will eventually be up. <laughs> that was Josh Lind. And that's pretty much the best image of I give up and I'm done that I've, that I've ever seen in a fall. Like, the board breaks, he collapses, and that's the end of that, okay? <laughs> In fact, if you go back to the spot, he's probably still lying there. He is just that much done with everything. In fact, I mean, this wasn't even that bad of a fall physically. Like, I'm sure he wasn't that hurt, but what I would worry about is I think that he might need, like, an arm around him and someone to talk to after all that, okay? And it's like, let's talk. Just saying, it looks, it's just like, it was such a depressing fall. It's like, dude, you need a hug. I'm not gonna give it to you necessarily, okay? Because I'm on YouTube and you're sitting somewhere else. You're, li you're still lying on the ground still. It's a depressing fall. I'm surprised it wasn't in black and white. Okay, this is such a depressing fall that I feel like what it needs is black and white, sad music, and a girl breaking up with you talking over the footage. I can't do this anymore. Carry on with this relationship. You'll have to do it alone from now on. I've tried so hard to make things work, but I can't go on. I'll always love you, old man. <laughs> there you go, see? I'm telling you. I just showed you the saddest moment of your day. And I hope that I'm right with that, because if you're experiencing something more sad than that, then you need a hug. You need five hugs. And maybe a taco. That will make things better. My nose looks like a boomerang. It does. At the same time, I kind of wish I had this clip. If someone asks how I'm feeling, and I'm feeling that down right now, and that, like that give uppy, if you may. Ah, that's a word. Let's start saying that. Give uppy. I wish I could just pull out that video clip and show them instead of having to talk. Because it's the perfect response to anything. It's like if, you, like, if you ever hear bad news, just show whoever you're talking to this clip. And I'm like, oh, I get it. Don't say a word. I get it. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving you on your own. Or hugging you. I don't know which. Hey, Josh, Tina broke up with you. <laughs> You flunked every class. Chipotle is out of guacamole. Hey Josh, your hamster died. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. I got a little carried away there and I'm sorry. Okay, I'm done, I'm done with the collapses, but I like this clip a lot is what I'm trying to say. And sadness and despair aside, I'm pretty sure this was Josh's board's fault. I don't know what company this was, but the board just exploded. Had an agenda of its own, okay? Because the second he even looked at the ground, it just exploded instead of flying to the ground, okay? Which caused everything, okay? This is the this is where the give upiness comes into play. It was the board's idea all along. Don't let your skateboard do this to you, people. Do not put up with that. Do not. Turn it. No, but Josh is okay. Everything was well with the world after this happened. He's actually actually been a long-term supporter of my videos. He's even, he's even ordered a few revenge slash survive decks over the years. He's a super nice dude. He sent me this footage and I was like, yeah, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this on the, on the internet. I, of course, like funny falls, hard falls to review, but this was such a unique fall that I was like, this is really cool. Yeah, let's do this. So thank you, Josh, for sending this to me. And then um, here is some footage of him skating. Here's a couple clips he included for your viewing pleasure. So use your eyeballs, keep them open, and they will appear on the screen right now. Hold on, I'm just gonna pull it off. <gasps> so there you guys go, uh, that was Josh Lind, uh, skateboarding and falling for your viewing pleasure. Hope you guys dug that. Uh, I do Fall Fridays like this uh, every once in a while, typically every other week, but sometimes, um, lately I've been kind of spreading them out. So I uh, hope you liked it. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with another video because I do daily videos. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna have Brian Matthias Ames in the hot seat. Are you ready? Are you ready, Brian? No. He's not ready. You're, but you're here, Brian. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. How are you not? Texas. You're not Texas? I'm not Texas. Twice. Oh, yeah. Here's it's a simple question, Brian. Come on, look at me. Look at me right now. How many bottles of mayonnaise would you eat for $10? So, like, four? That, that's it? Four. Definitely four. Okay. Get out of here. All right. Day. Eat a hot dog! Step on a squirrel!